I'm Charlie Johnson with Cobia Boats, and today I'm standing on our new Cobia 350cc. This is a boat we introduced for model year 2020. We've made some great enhancements to it, and if you'll spend a couple minutes with me, I'd like to walk you through the whole boat. Before I get into all the details on this boat, one thing I want to talk about is just how spacious this boat is. This boat overall is 34 feet, 4 inches long, 11 tooth beam. It's got 131 feet, square feet, excuse me, of cockpit space, which is just an absolute ton of cockpit space. You'll notice all that when I'm walking around this boat, how easy it is for me to get around. That starts up here at the bow. You have this nice U-shaped seating here, which is great because it allows people to sit around, especially when, I'll show you in a minute, we get this table up. Everybody can sit around the table very comfortably. But at the same time, you can remove this bow insert here. It's very simple to do. That's all you have to do. Move it out of the way if you want to stow it, that kind of thing. You can do that. But you have full access up here to the bow. And so you have full access to your windlass and your anchor system up under here big opening, friction hinges here, that lid stays up out of the way. Double-sided finish on the lids, very, very nice. Put that down, seals up, has that gasket underneath there. You have access, very easy access to your big eight inch size, 316 stainless steel cleats here, big enough to put two ropes on. It's very nice to have access all the way forward like this. A lot of people don't think about that. If you do have that full U-shaped seating in here, you can't get all the way forward. If you do, you have to climb up on cushions to do that. It can be difficult to reach things around the dock um, if you need to tie up quickly or something like that to your cleats, or even if you have to chase a fish forward here and a fish that goes for the horizon. It's great to get up tight to them like this. So great layout up here. Everything you'll notice on this boat is basically set up so that it has a great functionability, but also um, great practicality in terms of, of use, but is really, really stylish as well. So this boat has dedicated seating for 11 passengers. Um, all this really, really nice, comfortable cushion setup. Here you have the, the forward facing backrest option. As you can see, it hides out of the way. It's easy to turn around pop in place right here creates a very comfortable seat for sitting forward um, also notice that you always have handholds close by that's very important to us to always have something close by it's easy to grab something always within reach but at the same time that it's out of the way so it's not getting in the way it's not affecting your ability to move around the boat easily cup holders always where they're supposed to be always near any kind of cushions that sort of stuff the cushions are all double stitched. Uh, in this particular case, we have our two-tone gray package. You can also get white, that's standard. You can also get a, a two-tone tan, um, and then a um, tri-colored Bentley package as well. Uh, all the cushions have the, the antimicrobial foam in them, and, and, so, and the, the vinyl that resists any kind of um, bacteria in it, so you're not gonna get that, that mildew problem or that pinking that's very common in cushions these days. So we take our, our storage very seriously at Cobia. And what I mean by that is when we design storage, we think about a number of things. We think about big openings. We think about deep boxes. We think about the ease of being able to the move or lift the lid without having to move the cushion, excuse me. And you do that by basically doing things like this, by putting the latch here on this side like that. All I have to do is lift that up. Now I have this forward storage compartment open. As you can see, a big opening here, so it's easy to get my stuff in and out of there. It's also easy to see what I have in there. These particular boxes, we have two, one on either side. They're insulated, they drain overboard, so if you'd like, you can put ice, you can put drinks, that sort of thing in there. We have tons of other cooler space on the boat, so oftentimes these are used for other things, but they can be used for ice. Another thing to note about the, the lids and any kind of storage we have on the boat, you're always gonna have gasket material on there. That is 
with the compression latches, which is what this latch does. Once you press that down, that pulls up tight against that gasket material and it seals these storage compartments really well. So they always stay very, very dry. You'll notice that through every storage compartment we have on the boat. Always have big oversized drains so that any lid troughs evacuating the water, um, even if there's a surplus of water there so, and the water doesn't end up in the bucket so all your contents stay nice and dry. So what you might not have noticed while I've been walking around up here is that I'm actually standing on a hidden table, um, which is really cool. So you have a, a bow table up here, um, but it doesn't get in your way at all. It completely flushes in the floor and all you have to do to raise it up is to come over and hit, hit this electric button and you'll see it comes right out of the floor here. This table serves a couple different purposes. As it comes up and gets flush, are level with these cushions right in here. You can cushion this out so it creates a, ba a great sun deck pad area. I'll show that to you here in a minute. And then also as it comes all the way up, it creates a, a great table set up here for you know picnics on the boat, that sort of thing, cocktails. Just a really neat piece that is completely gone um, when you don't need it to be there. Um, and it sits right down here, really easy to deploy, um, raise up and lower down. So as you can see now, I've added the cushion to it. We're bringing it up to level with the other cushions. And it fills out that whole sun deck, which is really nice here. So we put a whole group of people up here. They can lay out very, very comfortable. That's really the beautiful thing about this boat. It does such a great job of having creature comforts like this, luxurious amenities, but also it can fish really hard. It's very tournament capable and I'll talk about that as I move sort of to the back end of the boat more and more into the fishing area of the boat but to have this kind of combination in a boat is, is really really unique so this table like I said it also raises up even further I'll show you that the mechanism can be accessed through the berth here so if there is ever any need to maintain it or anything like that you can get to the mechanism down below here but just as a really great functional piece that does exactly what it's supposed to do and it's very easy to operate. So we brought it all the way up. We'll take the cushion off just like that. And now you have a great table set up, plenty of room. And you have your, when you have your enclosure up here, up front here, full U-shaped seating. And you can sit a bunch of people around here, have a full spread, it's just a great spot. So this is just one of many sort of hidden great features about this boat. Obviously we're under the chaise lounge here, but you can see these two great big coolers. I love the fact that you have two coolers so you can have segregate your stuff out. Uh, you have this big thick lid here and between that and the, all the foam we've packed in here underneath around the coolers, they're super well insulated. So they're gonna keep ice for a really long time. You have this big uh, box back here you can put bags of ice, that kind of thing, so you have extra ice later on that you can go to. You can segregate out, have some ice drinks in here, or you can use one of these maybe even as a trash bin and the other one as a cooler. It's just really nice to have two really well um, functioning coolers up under here, up under this seat like this. And then obviously, all you have to do is close that lid like that. And then you look at this great big chaise lounge here, super comfortable, big enough for two easily great place to lay back and run around on the boat. Um, just a very functional setup, but also super comfortable as well. So before we get into the back end of the boat, let's talk about this hardtop setup here. First off, it's fully integrated into the console, so it's seamless, looks really nice. You have full tempered glass enclosure all the way around. Obviously a wiper up front, so you can if you have any spray or anything like that, you can wipe that off and see through that windshield very easily. Also have an electronic, uh, electric vent up here. That way you can still stay nice out of the elements, but open this vent up and still get enough airflow to stay nice and cool up there. But it's a, a really nice system all around. Ties into this really sharp looking hard top. Uh, people love our hard tops, not only very stylish, but also very functional. Full recesses for the LED lights, multi-hued recesses for the speakers, spreader lights forward. You have more lights as we go back. I'll talk about those in a minute, but just a really nice stylish setup that, as I said before, is also very functional. 
So while we're still on the hard top, I want to talk about sort of some attention to detail things that um, are evident on this hard top, but also sort of go throughout the whole boat. Just little things like this, like these lights here on the side that project out over the gunnel of the boat onto the dock so that in low light situations you have the dock lit up as you're getting in and out of the boat that makes it nice and safe. It's also easy to see what you're doing. There are handholds everywhere. I have a handhold up top here. Um, these particular ones are powder coated. Um, the powder coated white, you can get them gray or black as well. Handhold right here. Um, another thing, um, for instance, like this box back here, this is what a dedicated PFD box. And what we've done is we've vented this so you get your P you can put your PFDs in there but there, you're going to have also good ventilation up there so it's going to reduce um, mildew on your PFDs that sort of thing so it's just just little steps like that that go a really long ways um, that you have to pay close attention to that really make a difference though on, on how the boat operates just the ease of using it and and um, the enjoyment you have on the water another thing we've offered with the hard top is a, another Ford uh, box Forward here, um, e box, that's a great place if you want to put your uh, VHF or that sort of thing. But up here in this area, you can really never have too much storage uh, just because this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time uh, during the day. It's really nice to be able to quickly access things, whether they be pocket contents like wallets, uh, sunglasses, sunscreen, what have you, or just other things like charts or all that kind of stuff. It's just really nice to be able to access it right here and not have to get out from behind the wheel or from under the cover of the, of the um, hard top. Another great hidden feature on this boat, and this is really nice, down here underneath the console, you can see we have a double opening door here. Very thick doors, very solid. That goes ahead and latches with a, a magnet back here, stays put with a magnet. But it creates this big wide opening into this really, really nice berth area down here. So this console interior sort of exemplifies what I talk about when I talk about um, form and function and how important that is to us at Kobe and looking at things in our design and saying, how can we always make things better? How can we make things have basically almost like a double duty, look great, function great, but also allow us to do some, maybe something else with it. For instance, right off, you see under here, here's your standard China head. You have a nice cover on top of it. Obviously that allows you a great place to sit down. You have your sink over here with your pull out shower. You can go ahead and give yourself a shower off that way. But really nice little setup like this that allows you to sit over top of that head otherwise so you're not sitting on the head itself. Other things, for, in, for instance, like this, you have this really nicely laid out full um, breaker panel here. Every battery has its own independent battery switch with the parallel switches. You have all your breakers here that are clearly labeled, so it's very easy that if you do pop a breaker, all you have to do is go in here and push that, that breaker and, and reset it. It's all hidden behind these great looking smoked acrylic panels here. Um, very beautiful appointments in here with the, the nice faux wood. Also, like I said, with the smoked acrylic, you have the, the mirrors in here as well that give the impression of, of making the whole area a lot bigger. Another panel right here opens up, allows you great access to the back side of your electronics, your switch panel. Everything is labeled. Uh, we do that on all the, all the wiring throughout the entire boat. All the, our wire harnesses are, are built in-house right at uh, Kobe Boats there, and they're built unique to the very order. So they're perfectly laid out exactly as your boat is ordered. Everything is labeled so you know exactly where it goes. We'll close that back up like that. Uh, tons more storage space in here. You can see all these uh, storage space, all, this, all these latches are lockable so you can keep your stuff down in here. It's very spacious. You can see I have tons of headroom. Uh, it's very well lighted, LED lights throughout. We also, and I'll show this to you in a minute, we have mood lighting for at, at night in here with the LED strip lights. More storage up here, more storage down in this area, and then you have the nice berth area. But a, a really cool feature about this is the storage down here below this. I'll bring that up. And you have dedicated rod storage down there. 
which is really nice because this whole thing obviously locks up. So if you're taking the boat to the Bahamas, you have a bunch of fishing gear, you don't want to have to take it up to the, the hotel room or something like that every night. You can stow it right under here. It's hidden away. It's also locked. Great place to keep your gear under here. It's well padded, so you're not going to get bang anything up. And just a really smart use of space like that. And then you have this big um, a berth area that goes way far forward, so longer than uh, much longer than six feet there. Very comfortable. You have an added space or headrest here where all, that basically releases like this, pulls right out drops in like this so it even extended this berth area even more now you can put your cushion i mean your pillows back in this area and have your head on this end and you're in a nice roomy area it's just super comfortable in here and very very spacious so now i've stepped around to the back side of the con control station here the helm and uh, as you can see this is really nicely laid out very clean everything's with in line of sight i can see out over the bow very easily but at the same time i can see all my electronics we have the the dual 16 garments here we have the the gauge the yamaha gauge that corresponds to the yamaha 425s everything's here electronics in terms of autopilot vhf stereo it's all within easy reach the steering wheel is right here super easy to get my hands on be able to see everything, control everything without any kind of long, awkward reaches. Even the trim tabs are, are very accessible right there. So it's so a really nice, clean layout. You have the cup holders, four cup holders. You can never have enough cup holders. So a really nice setup. This behind me is also a really nice setup with the three independent LeBrock helm seats. What I really like about that is the fact that they're independent. So each person seated here can um, make the, the seat basically conform to how they want to sit and their comfort level, whether they want to use it like a leaning post like I am now basically, or you want to put the bolster down, you can go ahead and do that and sit back. We have a, a footrest down below, you can drop that footrest so you can keep your feet on that and be very comfortable. But it's a really nice setup that is very customizable. Um, also looks really nice as well as you can see with the Bentley style stitching, the two-tone in it. So just a, a very luxurious setup that's also really, really functional and does an, an excellent job. It really helps you maintain um, great control of the boat and a lot of comfort at the same time. Before we move from this helm seat tackle station area, I just want to show you this great touch right here. This door comes completely off and here's where your batteries stay. They're obviously completely away from the salt, up nice, it's accessible, easy to maintain. All the cables, all the wires are, are labeled so you know exactly what wire goes to where. But this kind of th stuff is really important to us at Kobe. We want to be able to access and maintain the boats very easily. Just makes using that boat much more enjo enjoyable. So now we're moving more back into the fishing end of the boat. And there are a bunch of great fishing focus features back here. I love this setup back here. It works great for a number of things. First off, you have this nice big open area here. It can be great, work great as a rigging station, just a, a great place to set things and work from. Also, I like it in that it makes a great place to just sit and, and look out the back of the boat. Um, if you're looking at your trolled baits or that kind of thing, we actually designed it so that it has this nice bullnose edge right here so you don't have a hard edge, so that's not cutting into the back side of your legs. Um, but it is a, a great, comfortable spot that has many uses. Once you get underneath it, lift this up, you have freshwater sink here. You have yet another cooler on the boat. This is insulated, so if you want to have drinks back here where you're doing your fishing or that kind of thing, or put ballyhoo, that sort of stuff, any kind of bait that you wanted to keep cool, you can do that in here. You have the nice fresh water here. I love this because this allows you to wash off your rigs. You bring them in, you maybe want to switch out to a different kind of bait or a different kind of uh, lure. You can go ahead and wash that lure off. You can put it in here, let it dry off, and put it back in your gear bag later so you're not taking, and taking a lure that potentially has salt on it or something like that, putting it back in your gear bag or just having to deal with putting it someplace to let it dry off. You can just leave it right here in this nice little cubby, um, let it dry off, it works great. You have knife and, and uh, plier holders right there. Really clean setup, once again, a nice work area as well. Great spot. Under here you have your 
your tackle trays, tackle storage under here. Obviously, you see these latches are all lockable. This is all acrylic, no poly at all. You can put your trays under there as well. More knife and plier holders. So really great setup with everything's right here close by, right where you're going to be doing all your rigging, right where the action's going to be. Uh, this particular boat has the optional uh, fridge, which is a really nice touch. So that's a 12 volt fridge, operates on its own on its own battery there. So you can keep things nice and cool, frozen in there. If you do not opt for the fridge, you have a more of a, a tackle setup back here as well. But just a, a great, very functional setup all around. Works great for a number of things. You also have another freshwater shower right here that works great and pulls out. It's a great place to when you're getting on and off, in and off the boat from the back there. You can come right up here, grab that, go ahead and rinse yourself off. So that's a great setup there. Obviously, you have all your rod holders right here, close by, uh, four on either or two on either side for four in total. You have these across the back, also kickfish rod holders. So very well laid out for great tackle setup. Easy, easy to maintain your tackle, easy to do rigging, easy to stay right in the action. So while we're on the fishing theme, you know, remember I talked about how wide this boat is at 11.2 and how spacious it is. Look how much room I have back here, not only from side to side, but also fore and aft here between our tackle station set up and our back end. So tons of working room here for, for fishing. And we have the two twin 42 gallon live wells. So each one of these are 42 gallons a piece. It's really nice to have not only the, the dual live wells so that you can uh, you double your capacity there, but it's also really nice to have segregated live wells. A lot of people don't realize that some baits just don't uh, work well together and they'll actually, if they're put in the same well together, they'll stress each other and, and they'll end up dying more quickly that way. With segregated wells, you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, the wells are nice big opening have big openings so they're easy to get the bait in and out of like this acrylic lid so you can check on your bait on occasion to make sure everything is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing in there nice big solid lids that latch very securely also you have this mezzanine hatch back, right back here with the uh, live well pump box and basically what that does is it allows that water to come in into this box that box has the pumps inside of it, so they're always submerged, so you're never gonna have any chance of any kind of air locking or that sort of thing. Also, what's really nice about this is, you notice we have three pumps down there, but you only have two live wells. That third pump is a, is a backup pump, so if you were to have one of those live well pumps go down, very easy to just take one of those valves, switch it off, switch the other pump on, the, the uh, backup pump on, and you're back up and running. So it's a really nice system to have that redundancy, also to make sure that you always have those, uh, never have any air locking issues. So anyways, but we take our live wells very seriously here at Cobia. Another thing we take very seriously is our fish boxes. This boat has twin fish boxes on either side that are macerated, they pump overboard. They're 62 gallons a piece. See, easy to get to. Great big lids. They're right where they're supposed to be back here in the area where you're actually be catching the fish. You want to consider a fish box in terms of looking at it. How easy is it going to take to get, is it going to be to gaff that fish and get it into that box really quickly. And so that's why, why these are set up exactly the way they are set up. Big opening, easy to get to. Big lid troughs there. So if you do have any um, detergent on the decks, it's not going to get into that, uh, that box. It's going to drain out of the big oversized troughs here. Lid stays up out of the way. Just this is the way a fish box is, is designed to be, or supposed to be, and it's right in the right spot as well. Another great feature about this boat, and this one does basically a double duty for uh, fishing and also other recreation, also just simply boarding from on and off the dock is this really nice setup here for this side door. All it takes is you flip the gunnel back like this, unlatch this latch right here, go ahead and pull this open. Notice that this in opens inward, that's really important. If it were to open outward, 
it would it would obstruct with the dock and that would be a problem um, you would not only would you tear up your door you wouldn't be able to get as close to the dock as you might like to but that opens inward you have a nice ladder that goes with it right here that plugs in so it's a great place for people they're snorkeling diving that sort of thing to be able to enter and exit the boat also it's a great place where if you were to catch a big tuna or something like that you'd easily be able to drag him on board and get him into one of these fish boxes really quickly and like I said, it's a great place to also to simply get on the dock. So super easy to get on and off the boat, um, but a great setup. And once again, something designed the way it's supposed to be. Um, you have the big oversized hinges here, really robust hardware, and it, it does what it's supposed to do. It, it makes um, your day on the water that much easier. So as you can see on this particular setup, we have the new Yamaha 425 XTOs. It's a great power package for this boat. You can also put on the, the triple 300s. Um, that's a great power package as well. With these 425 XTOs, uh, cruise is at about 33 miles per hour. The boat tends to run square to its RPM. So 33 miles per hour, you're running about 3,400 RPMs. You're at 1.4 miles per gallon with that. You have a 320 gallon fuel cell. So lots of range with these, this package. Uh, upwards, top end, it's going to be around 60, so plenty fast, but just a really, really nice setup on this boat with these 425s. Access to bilge can constantly be a problem on a lot of boats. Um, things can be hard to maintain, hard to get to. Not at all here on the Cobia 350. You can see all I did was touch the button here on the side of the tackle station. It brought up this bilge hatch that does that electronically. You have a big wide opening down in there, so it's very easy to get in and maintain all your pumps, the backside of your live wells, all that kind of stuff. As I said before, all the wires are labeled, so it's really easy to tell what goes where. Um, but this is just an absolute maintenance dream as opposed to what can happen in a lot of boats, which is a maintenance nightmare. Notice also that we have the fuel water separators in here. They're very easily to easy to access. You can also access them actually when this hatch is not open all the way because we have a dedicated hatch for this. On the outside of this hatch cell, it opens up, allows you to get to those very easily. But this is just a really, really smart setup uh, that makes maintenance very easy. So I talked about how great this layout is for fishing and, and absolutely it is, but what's really neat about this, and it's like I've shown you throughout the whole boat is how easy this boat goes back and forth between a great fishing setup and then a, a great cruising or sandbar hopping setup. That's evident in this back seat. Very easy to open up, great big bench here. Super comfortable, just a great place to lay back. Uh, great place to sit and you could fit three people here, no problem. But when you want it out of your way, all you have to do is go ahead and do that, pop it down. The cushion's protected because it has this nice flat fiberglass lid on it. That way you're not going to get hooks on it or fish blood or that kind of thing. But a, a really easy to use setup that really converts this whole area back and forth between that, that cruising setup and that fishing setup. So I talked about the fuel efficiency with the 425s, and that's one aspect is that is absolutely these engines are very fuel efficient engines. But another thing about this boat is it is vacuum infused. So the boat is very stiff, very strong, but you're not carrying around a bunch of extra, which is useless uh, resin weight. So it really has great load carrying capacity. Um, in addition to that, the boat is a step tall boat. So by virtue of that, it's very fast, it's very fuel efficient, and it's an excellent open water running boat. And so between the 425s, the vacuum infusion, that stepped hull setup, you get a high end performance and great fuel efficiency. So that wraps it up here on the new Cobia 350. I hope I've done a good job of showing you exactly how unique this boat is in terms of how well it blends all the creature comforts and the tournament fishing capability all into one great package. You have the high performance, with the 425s or the triple 300s, the step toll, vacuum infused construction, you have the pointed seats for 11, and you have these great console layout and also those great fishing features to just create a, a really, really combined, super good package. So do yourself a favor, make sure to check this boat out. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure to follow us online. Also go to our YouTube channel and subscribe there.